What are some skinny people problems? Putting extra holes into belts. We fit everywhere. As a construction worker it sucks. WTF you're so skinny. Yes, yes I am. How observant. Sometimes in roller coasters you don't feel super secure in the harness or seat belt. Leaning your head on my shoulder probably feels like leaning on a jagged rock. Reminder for you all to consume more calcium so your skeleton doesn't try to escape. This is a message brought to you by, R, never broke a bone. Bumping into anything hurts 10 times worse. Bone doesn't cushion at all. Bony shoulders that would be uncomfortable to lean on. Boots never fitting in the legs. Hard to keep my pants up. I have no butt. Sinking in water. Fat is less dense than water. So not having any means you'll have a harder time keeping your head above the water when swimming. Hard to float when I swim. You have to sit in the middle seat of the car during long trips. People commenting on your body all the time because since you are skinny you can't be offended. The one problem that drives me nuts is that people assume skinny equals fit. I work out and exercise, play sports a lot but when I tell people that they think I'm weird for working out when I'm already skinny. You'll be fat when you hit 20. You'll be fat when you hit 23. You'll be fat when you hit 30. You'll be fat when you hit 35. You'll be fat when you hit 40. You'll be fat when you hit 45. Still waiting. Boxers always ride up. Cause my hips are bigger than my waist. When a cat sits on your lap their feet slip through the gap between your thighs. This often makes them sink their claws in to steady themselves. Sit-ups. The way my spine rolls against a hard surface. I just can't. I need to be on a carpet to do sit-ups. I never sit in a chair like a normal person. Always shifting from side to side because just planted there hurts. Now if you're on a long flight whoa mama my lack of buns are hollering. Not being able to sit on hard surfaces. I lost the padding on my butt and now a bike seat is hell. Gotta put rocks in my pockets on windy days. People commenting on your weight all of the time. Easily cold. Painful to lie in the bath. High risk of pressure sores. I'm 5 feet. 9. 125 pounds. And 26 inches around the waist. Finding pants and belts that fit is damn near impossible. Sitting on a harder surface. Wooden chair or something. Becomes uncomfortable much faster than people realize because there's less padding down there. When there's high winds and walking becomes hardcore resistance training. Cold all the time. Give me a blanket PLS. Shaving our concave underarms. People eyeballing you while you eat or keeping mental tabs on your food intake. It's unsettling. My weak nerd arms. Nearly everyone can beat you in a fight because 9 times out of 10 they will just pick you up and body slam you. E. And when you frock another a skinny person it sounds like you're damaging a pair of skeletons in Minecraft. Clothes don't fit as well as you think. Try sitting on a park bench with these skinny little bum cheeks. Friend of mine is very skinny and small. She basically can't find any clothes she likes because apparently women are not supposed to be that skinny and small and if so are bound to dress like preteens forever. People wanting to do this sit around your wrists. You can see my heartbeat through my skin and it creeps people out. When you mention how you are out of shape and need to start getting back into regular exercise, running, and they just say but. You're thin and in shape already. Your body size is not indicative of how in shape you are. And it goes the other way too if you are above average in weight. Just BC you weigh more than the average person also doesn't mean you are out of shape. People constantly telling me that I should eat more. If you're not going to tell a fat person to eat less, don't tell skinny people to eat more. Chill to the bone is not a metaphor for skinny people. I get cold so much faster because I have less body fat. People asking if you are anorexic. Dash dash. Edit. Wow never gotten this many likes. My appetite is low almost all the time, except when in buffets. Always cold and it can be hard to find clothes that fit nicely sometimes. Also if, say, I hit my arm against something really hard, I can feel the pain in my bone lol. My sleeves rolling down when I'm washing my hands. Some women are openly hostile towards me. Skinny breach is an extremely popular name that I get called from a whole host of women. Friends and strangers alike. I can't talk about my insecurities about my body because I get openly mocked or outright dismissed. And I can never, ever discuss food with women who are insecure about their weight and I generally just try to avoid eating around women altogether. I do understand that there are advantages to being my size. I don't take that for granted. 
but my body shape shouldn't bring nasty comments just like a larger person's body shouldn't. Edit. I woke up to a lot of notifications and was really confused because I completely forgot about this comment. Thanks for the awards dudes. Easier to kidnap. Nobody wants me to sit on their lap. Sitting on hard surfaces can be pretty painful. But on the upside all my co-workers give me their snacks when they go on a diet. I haven't had to buy work snacks in over a year now. Is nobody going to mention how much your pelvic bones can hurt if you have sex with another skinny person? No cold resistance. I'm a guy who was skinny. Some women weren't into skinny guys. I met my wife when I was really thin. And later she let me know she was a little on the fence about it. I am 5, 10, and weighed 140 pounds when we met. I was biking everywhere and living off of rice and beans. After 14 years of better food and 10 years of weightlifting I'm 190. But I'm old and married and have no idea if women care. I still look skinny but I'm just dense I guess. I don't look like a skeleton anymore though. One thing I miss. When you're really skinny, your dong looks huge. If you're a guy and skinny you're not respected as much because you're small. The laws of nature still apply and men only respect men they think could take them in a physical fight. We're all monkeys. People are sensitive about making fat jokes. They don't give a frock about skinny jokes. Twerking just doesn't work the same. People touch you a lot. They do that measuring thing where they use their fingers to measure your wrists or use their hands to see if they fit around your waist. You randomly get picked up a lot and people constantly say. You're so small, tiny, like you're a baby. People hounding you for your secret and then going on and on about how they wish they could lose weight my secret is that i have no appetite and i really don't get why i need to listen to you body shame yourself for 20 minutes straight i promise you it doesn't make me feel good about myself by law in my country i'm not allowed to give blood because i'm too light less than 50 kilograms i'm oneg when you're trying to gain weight and it's 10 pm and you still need to consume another 1200 calories for the day but you're still full tie for gold eily this probably seems obvious, but all the negative stigma that comes with being skinny. People automatically assuming you're prissy or a breach or care too much about your looks. People disregarding your mental health. Especially when it's body oriented. What do you have to be upset about? Or, you're not allowed to hate yourself because you're skinny. Having little to no support when it comes to taking care of your own health. You don't need to eat healthy all the time you're already skinny. Saying things like, I really need to work out more, is always met with responses similar to, no you don't you're the skinniest one here. You're not allowed to be upset about your weight or your health if you're hanging out with people who are chunkier than you. Edit. Errors. Can I just give you some of my weight? Ugh. Hard seats. My bony butt gets uncomfortable very quickly on wooden benches or metal bleachers. Our bodies seem to think if we aren't warm we are dying. I lose feeling in my fingers and toe so fast it's ridiculous and it's take forever to warm them back up. Always feel cold too. Keeping the muscle you build up. I lose muscle weight very quickly if I take even a rest week from working out. When I was younger gaining weight was difficult. Having to have your arms covered all the time even in midsummer because you don't like people to see how skin your arms are. I get cold at like 75F if I'm doing nothing. People think it's okay to poke fun at being thin, but if I poke fun of someone who is fat I'm in his hole. I'm skinny, but cycle a lot so pants and shorts never fit right. I'm thin but tall, and small shirts are often wide and short. My stronger friends can pick me up like a child. Pipe. If I get sick, the weight loss can easily put me into underweight territory. So frocking sick of people say, you're so skinny, eat something. Frock you breach. You think I only survive on air. Hopes and dreams? It took me 38 years and eating ice cream before bed to gain weight. Not good weight but hey. Edit. My first silver. Noise. Never thought a rant would be this popular. Thanks. I have to finish my food fast because once my stomach realizes it's getting full I can't eat anymore. Just the social stuff. Skinny comments. You look uncomfortable. Eat a sandwich. I could never be skinny like that. Honestly I'm happy being skinny though. Bob bony ass syndrome struggle is real. If you're really skinny you just look awkward when standing still. The comments. Eat something. OMG you're so skinny. Just skin and bones huh. I've managed to get closer to average weight nowadays but I'm still pretty thin. Bony buns and mean, but perceived socially acceptable. Comments were the worst. Everybody thinks that you did not like the food because you are full after eating half the plate. Every time you talk about it, you're fat shaming. I lost a bunch of weight while on a diet and I was super excited. But every time I spoke about it, I was fat shaming. It even tore apart my last relationship, because I was, too skinny. Eventually I just shut up. I never once said anything bad about people's weight, or made it seem like I was bragging. 
Finding R, a bra that fits. When I was overweight, I was a 32 band. That is the smallest size available in many stores. Many slim and normal weight people are 24 to 30 bands. 28 and 30 aren't easy to find. 24 and 26 are only made by a small handful of companies worldwide. And edit. 32 band 70 in the EU isn't necessarily overweight for everyone. I'm short and I have a small rib cage. Swimming is harder. I don't float super well. By the way I've decided we didn't eat enough today after three full meals. One snack. And a dessert and now seems like the best time to tell you I am dying. My body. 20 minutes after I go to bed. IDK if it's just me. But the ability to not build muscle that well. At least in my experience. Apparently recovery time for certain surgeries is more painful for skinny people. I had surgery on my ribs and the surgeon said I was going to be much sore because of being skinny. Fat provides some cushioning. I know a lot of people have said. Finding clothes that fit. But I specifically hate the high-waisted pants trend. I can't find any pants these days that fit my waist. Even when the hips are fine. It's a lot more socially acceptable to insult us. Someone makes fun of a fat person if they're intentionally being mean. Or if their friend's jabbing at them. It's somehow socially acceptable for a complete stranger to call you skinny. Less real estate for tattoos. People assume I am healthy because I'm skinny? I am underweight. Constantly tired. Can't go a day without at least one nap. My doctor did like every blood panel he could and didn't find anything wrong. Still so fatigued and tired. Then my colleague was like. Have you considered eating more so you have more energy? My mind is effing blown and I feel incredibly stupid. I am one of those people that do intermittent fasting. Naturally. I never ate breakfast. Not even as a kid because it makes me nauseous to eat so early. At work I often have no time to eat so my first meal is a snack at 4 p.m. No wonder I am tired. Dumb. They are easy to throw off bridges. Dated a woman with some thyroid issues that made it really hard for her to gain weight. Like she had to eat like a dump truck just to stay around 100 pounds. Meanwhile, I would smell a burger and suddenly gain 10 pounds of jiggly ass fat. I can't gain weight if I try. I have a manual labor job and I thought. Paid to work out. I can finally bulk up. Then after over a month of eating food until I feel sick I gain like 5 pounds and haven't gained since then. I did replace some fat for muscle though. When people assume that we're not taking care of ourselves properly just because our collarbone or a few ribs are showing a little. Slash. As someone with a long torso. 6, 2, and skinny body. Clothes. Have to shop at big and tall stores. It's either long enough and really baggy. Or tight enough and too short shopping retail. Pants 2. Don't find many 28 by 34 pants. I wish I could get even those tailored or something. Passing out from not eating and drinking enough water. I do not have an eating disorder at all, but will faint and lose vision if I don't eat regularly throughout the day. This started happening to me last fall. I'm a 5, 6. Female in her mid-30s at 131 pounds to date. Your tailbone being the butt equivalent of a medieval weapon. 